In this video, I'm gonna talk about the importance of picking the right partner as a man. In fact, if you pick the wrong partner and you start with poor foundational material, you'll never have a soulmate situation. In fact, it's impossible. And I'm a firm believer that soulmates are not found. They are created. But the problem with this is guys try to turn soulmates out of women who are just seasonal or 304s. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the importance of finding the right partner with foundational material. My name is Ed Baxter and I help guys in betrayal situations. I've coached thousands of men. Tens of thousands of men have come through my doors in one form or another. I've had over 3,000 guys come through the Betray to Badass program. And that's what we do. We'll get you to that place where you make the right decision for you and your children. A great woman supports your purpose. Now, if you know what your purpose is, you have a compelling vision for your life and you know which way you wanna go, she's gonna help you do this. In fact, she wants you to do this because the more powerful that you become, the more she is attracted to you and the more that she can rely on you and trust you that you will make it happen when everything goes down. In other words, my wife knows that she can trust me and that I'll never let her down. Why? Because I trust in myself and I know I'm gonna make it happen. There's not a game of failure in here. Even if I mess up and make a failure, I'm gonna pivot and do something different. I'm not gonna sit here and wallow in my misery. And so a good woman's gonna see that within you. She's gonna see that indomitable spirit and she's gonna support your purpose. Now, not every woman's gonna do this. You're gonna find some toxic women that'll do anything they can to, to beat you down, do anything they can to make you seem small as a man and emasculate you. And she does this because she wants to control you because if you're powerful, you could potentially leave her and find somebody better. And so a good woman is secure in herself. She's gonna support you. She's gonna to wanna to honor you. She's gonna to wanna to make sure that you stand in your power and move forward powerfully. Not because she needs to control you, not because she wants to manage you and manipulate you, but because the more powerful that you are, the more she's gonna find you attractive and awesome as a guy. And that's what she wants for you. She wants you to be the best version of you. And if she's really dialed into your purpose and she really sees where you wanna go, she's gonna do everything she can to add value to you. She's gonna help you get shit out of the way so you can go work on your business. She's gonna do whatever she can to keep the kids at bay so you can make sure that you have time to work on what's necessary for your business. Now, on the other side of this, you don't wanna be that guy that kinda of takes advantage of it. You wanna be the guy that's gone for 18 hours every day and never spends any time with the kids. That will create another problem. But generally speaking, she's gonna find ways to add value to your life. For instance, my wife, if she sees me stressed, she's just gonna volunteer and give me a back rub because she values me. She values me standing in my power. She values me being in a happy place. And so when I'm not in this place, she's gonna to wanna to add value. She wants me to know that she values me a lot. So she's gonna pour into me. She's gonna do whatever she can to help make my life better. And so generally when you're committed to a woman, she should make you feel more free with her than being single. And she does this by adding and creating a lot of value in your life and not restricting how you are operating on your day-to-day -day basis. If there's any manipulation happening in your relationship, it's only happening for one reason, you're tolerating it. So if she's manipulating you, she's lying to you, just know it's not gonna get better and you're the one who's allowing it to happen. So as long as it continues to happen, you can just guarantee it's gonna keep getting worse. And so guys are like, well, you know, she was lying about her ex-boyfriend, she's lying about this, but she would never lie to me. And it's like, bullshit, dude, she's lying to you all the time, you're just deciding not to notice it. And so there could be no room in your relationship for any kind of manipulating lies, gaslighting, guilting, shaming, guilt trips, intimidation, you, you cannot allow any of that. And so if you start to see this kind of behavior in your relationship, you have to end that behavior immediately and set hard boundaries. Do not allow it. Now on the flip side of that, if you're doing the same thing, you gotta put an end to that too because you don't wanna be this hypocrite. You wanna lead by what you live. And so if you wanna have a relationship that's healthy and you wanna avoid toxic behaviors, you have to be the stalwart. You have to be the champion of it. And you have to always, without fail and without exception, put that shit down. It is so important for you to pick the right woman because your partner probably dictates 70 to 80% of your happiness on a day-to-day -day basis. Like you having a good relationship can make you happy or it can lay you low as hell. And if you don't believe me, have you ever been cheated on? You ever been broken up with? You know it can really affect your mental health. And so having this woman in your corner and knowing that she's a good partner for you is absolutely key to your long-term mental health. And so even allowing any kind of toxic behavior to go long-term, any kind of knowing that this woman isn't for you and you stick with her anyway because you're just afraid of being alone or you're afraid you won't be able to attract somebody better, this wears on you because your life is now being defined by daily failure. And as a man, if your life is being defined by daily failure, it's gonna diminish you. And over time, it's gonna keep diminishing you and your ceiling is gonna keep getting lower and lower, your happiness ceiling, and you won't even notice it. It's just like people who drink all the time. 
they don't realize that their happiness day to day gets diminished even more and more and more. And it goes so slowly they don't realize it until they realize I, they got to have a drink every night. And so for you, if you allow this kind of behavior in your life, you allow toxic behavior or somebody that you know that's not a match for you and you keep staying with her over and over again, you keep making excuses for these two things like it's not bad or it'll get better in the future, you're deluding yourself. And so just realize that there is an absolute cost to being with somebody that you shouldn't be with long term. And it's going to affect your long term mental health and block somebody better from being with you. And it also shows you that you are weak. It shows you that you can't make the tough decisions. It shows you that you cannot stand up in the face of your own failure. And you may not acknowledge this on the surface, but subconsciously it's wearing you down. And it's going to continue to wear you down until you make the fucking pivot. Brother, a woman who loves you is going to respect your boundaries. In fact, if she really loves you, she's going to anticipate what they are and never get close to them. In fact, with my wife, I've never even had to have this conversation. I don't have to have the conversation because she watches me and she sees what would upset me or annoy me or what is a real boundary. Now, with that being said, I try to keep myself straight. I'm not going to just ask her to like not do something because I might get weird or insecure about it. I'm going to look at myself and say, hey, is this boundary actually valid? And if it is valid, then yeah, absolutely, I'm going to fucking say something. But on the flip side of this, she would do the same thing. Because I didn't get with a pushover type of a woman. She's going to tell me straight up if I'm fucking something up, and I would appreciate if she, if she does. And I do appreciate it because this is an opportunity for me to pivot and change. Just like she will do the same for me. And so you want a partner that's going to anticipate your boundaries because we all know what right and wrong is. We all know that you shouldn't be flirting with somebody else. We all know that you should be paying attention to your partner and be present. We all know that you shouldn't lie or manipulate or gaslight. We all know this shit. And then you get into a situation with a woman where you're like having to describe normal fucking things. Hey, you know, it's not very nice to tell people that. Hey, you know, that person's probably, hey, you shouldn't lie to me. Hey, you should be, you shouldn't flirt. Like if you're having to explain this shit to your partner, you should break up with her. If you're having to explain normal baseline, how to be a decent human being bullshit to your woman, leave her. Because for one, I know a couple of things. You're not going to leave her because you've been putting up with this all the way up until this point. And you think you can change her. You think she could be different than she is. And this is the fact that you pick somebody who has wrong foundational material to have a soulmate situation. If you're with a woman that you're having to tell her not to manipulate, not to guilt you, not to shame you, not to lie to you, not to yell at the kids, and she keeps doing this over and over again, doesn't take you fucking seriously, you're the problem. You're the problem because you put up with it and you won't leave her. And so what, what that means is that she doesn't have to change because you'll never fucking leave her. She's like, what are you going to do? Leave me? And so guys will do this. They'll stay with this woman. They'll have a family with her. And then he gets himself even more under leveraged. And now she has all this shit over his head. Oh, well, now you gotta have, we got kids. Oh, now we got financial situation all mixed up. Oh, she's doing your books. Oh, she's working for your business because she couldn't get another job. Oh, she's pushing your coworkers away. Or she's putting your employees away. What are you going to do? You're like, I can't do anything because I'm not willing to walk away. And this is the problem with most guys. They were not willing to walk away, so the woman doesn't actually take him seriously because he's with a woman who takes advantage of. And so a good woman is going to anticipate your boundaries. She safeguards the relationship. She doesn't want to piss you off because she loves you. She cares about the relationship. She doesn't want to push you away. She wants you to come closer. She wants to have intimacy with you. She wants to have quiet, tender moments. And she desires you. She's devoted to you. And she appreciates you deeply and intently. And so make sure that if you're with a woman, she actually anticipates and gives a shit about your boundaries. If she does not, you're not with a giver. You're not with somebody who cares about other people. You're with somebody who cares only about themselves, and you're wasting your fucking time trying to make her soulmate material. In fact, if you keep doing it, you're delusional. And if she does something stupid like cheat on you, well, then it's your fault. Your woman needs to reflect your values and vision. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to impress upon her your values and vision. You should find somebody who automatically follows like this. In other words, I like a clean house, so I'm going to have somebody who's just about as clean as I am. I value money, like being a good custodian of my cash, so I'm going to be with somebody who's not going to just blow on my fucking money. It doesn't matter how much money I make. It doesn't matter if I'm rich. It doesn't matter if I'm poor. She's going to honor the fact that I make this money, and she's not going to just spend it and be entitled to it. I'm going to be with somebody who cares deeply about her children and is empathetic and is quiet. It's not going to scream and yell at them. These are my values, and so I pick a woman who has similar values to me. Why? Because I ain't trying to train somebody on how to be a good person. I'm not here to make her into a better person. I want somebody who already fucking gets it. What's the point of being with somebody if I can't see him as an equal partner? I don't want to be your dad any more than I want her to be my mother. I want a woman I can have equal standing on on how to live your fucking life. Common values. 
common purpose, respects my boundaries, and I respect hers. And so I'm not in the business of trying to teach a woman how to be an adult. It's not going to happen, and it's not your job. It's her job to get mature and be with a mature woman who understands what it means to be an adult and has good values, has good character, and has the same economic station as you. These guys out there, you guys that make millions of dollars, and then you go and you pick up the waitress, and you're like, well, she's a good woman. Dude, she can't roll with your world. She has no concept of what you're doing, and most of the time, those women are looking for you to save them. You should not be with that kind of woman. Go get with a woman who matches your station. And I can tell you, by doing that, by not being with that kind of woman, you don't have the foundational material to go where you need to go. This woman's not going to be able to understand your world. And because she can't understand your world, she can't be your biggest cheerleader. She has no concept of what you're doing, the pressure that you're under. And this is a problem because you're like, well, we're all the good women. Well, if you keep devaluing yourself and getting ones with like this, they're not going to show up because it just demonstrates that you're insecure and you're just afraid of being alone. You have to throw your money around in order to get a woman to pay attention to you. So think about that. Your woman should be just as growth oriented as you are. In fact, she needs to be self-sustaining in her growth. In other words, you can't be the guy coming up and saying, hey, baby, you want to read this book? And hey, let's go to this place and let's meditate together. You shouldn't be the guy trying to push her forward into her own self-growth. She should be a self-starter. And I can't stress this enough. If she's not a self-starter in her growth, you're going to pass her up. Then you're going to be so far outside of the growth realm, and she's not going to be able to relate to you anymore. And then you're going to keep pulling on her, pulling on her, pulling on her. And then she's going to get passive-aggressive and stop. She's going to completely stop, and then she's going to tell you, you don't love me for who I am. And you're like, that's not the point. I'm telling you, I want to go to this awesome place, and you don't want to go there with me. You just want to stay here and do the same shit you've been doing every fucking day. And so if you don't get with a woman who is naturally self-starting in her own personal growth, you're always going to run into that situation like that. And it can't be helped. It's not your fault. She refuses to grow, and then your mistake is trying to force her to grow, trying to force her to be as adamant about her own personal journey as you are. And so they're on the other side of this, you're not accepting her for how she is and how she wants to live her life. But you are responsible for tolerating this type of behavior in your life. Because if your partner does not want to grow and move forward, this is what ends up happening to high-performing guys. He's like, come on, baby, let's go to this promise land. Let's go do this cool shit. Let's grow, let's grow, let's grow. And it's like she, he's got her on this leash, and he's trying to pull her forward. He's got her on this rope trying to pull her forward. And what he doesn't realize is how much faster he could have been going had he not been holding onto that rope. And so she drags him down and he doesn't even realize it. And so if you really want to move forward in your life, you need a woman who can see is self-starting and wants to take, take on that personal growth journey just like you do at at least an equal, if not better, faster pace. Brother, I cannot stress how important it is to pick the right partner as a man. In fact, soulmates are created, they are not found, but most guys, they pick the wrong woman to be a soulmate. And they try to take this woman who has a cracked foundational material, who's manipulating, who's gaslighting, who's lying to him, even cheating on him. And he's like, how can I get her to change? How can I get her to take her medication? How can I get her to go to a psychologist or a therapist? How can I get her to see the light and change? How can I get her to lose weight? How can I get her to fill in the blank? And the problem is, is that you're asking the wrong question. The right question is, how do I move forward into power in my own life and attract somebody who wants to match me where I'm at? who wants to take accountability for herself, wants to take accountability for her actions and her own personal self-growth. Because if you sit here and you pour into somebody who does not want to move forward, you're wasting your time. In fact, you're sabotaging yourself and your own future. And you're setting an example for your children of what not to do. And so what you do, your children are going to do. So why not do something different and show your children what you should really be doing? And if you're unsure if you're with the right person and you want to find out how to find that person, check out this video here. If you want other people to see this video and you want to share it, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. This is a good way to spread the love to the other men without directly sharing it to them. If you want to see more videos like this, have them pop up in your feed, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next one.